can see the flex capacitor 40 to 60. The idea is that you have a backpack that if you don't need a fully compressed or fully out then you can compress it down to about 40 liters which is where it's at now as I don't need the full 60 and of course you can open it up to 60 if you're doing a bigger trip or you need more supplies and uh, my I've been using this now for about four or five months on and off different trips and so on and uh, it's quickly becoming one of those backpacks that I just always use uh, I really like it uh, it does have its drawbacks and I'll go ahead and go through those but all in all, I think it's a very uh, reliable and, and good, good feeling backpack. I mean, one of my favorite features is just how well it fits on my back and on my hips. Barely touches my back at all. And in fact, most of the time it doesn't touch it at all. And it has really good hip support. You can dial it in to fit your hips exactly. It's got these two nice hip pockets that work well. Uh, I think they're, they, they do what they're supposed to do. Okay. So the flex capacitor uh, has these straps that you can just easily uh, open it up or close it down. And right now I, I have it barely filled up uh, as well I've got my two jackets and my sestral pants on now uh, but when I start moving I'll take those off and push them into the bag and I've got my drone here and I've got I've got everything I need for a couple day winter trip basically and I'm not really sure if we talk about one of the things I don't like I'm not really sure if I like this lid uh, I'm so used to the roll-up tops. Uh, I like how they expand and so on. Um, you just have to kind of rethink how you're packing your bag when you use the flex capacitor because this is a very... Um, you're not going to get much flexibility out of it. The, the lid is what it is. It's always going to be that size. Now, when I open this up, I'm not going to do it now because I don't need the 60 liters. Um, but the weight, the distribution goes all around instead of just straight up and down. And again, um, for me, the weight distribution on, a, on, for example, Hyperlite Mountain Gear, where it's mainly just upwards, it's not a big problem for me. Um, but I can certainly see and feel the difference when I pack this in with all the weight it needs. I, uh, another big drawback that I think anyway is that I don't have this mesh here. I do like the mesh because I don't always like having to put wet uh, gear and so on back into my backpack. I mean of course I, I just put everything in the watertight bags it's not a problem but it's still I do like that ease of just putting things on the outside. It's minor drawbacks for an overall uh, a great backpack. It's got these really good hip pockets. Uh, these are some of the better hip belt pockets I've seen on a, a mass produced backpack. Uh, usually the pockets are just these real tiny and you kind of got to get your, just your fingers might be able to fit in there. But this one you open it up and it's got plenty of room for the stuff that I carry on them anyway. Lighters and gel or alcohol for my hands and um, yeah I don't really have too much more to say about the bag I think it's a great bag so I'll go ahead and stuff this jacket in there guys so there you have it the Sierra designs flex capacitor 40 to 60 and now it's fully packed with everything except for my Cestrals pants, which uh, I'm kind of debating. I don't think I'm going to start cold today. It just, yeah, it's really cold out here. So I'm going to, I'm going to start warm and I'm going to wear these clothes and hike and just take them off when I get warm. But in any case, the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor, 
Now it's at the 40 liter capacity and I've got my nice little front pouch here, which I'll also do a review of. So there you have it, the Sierra Designs Flex Capacitor.